What's going on YouTube? Mr. Flip coming at you with another tabletop review and I gotta tell you guys, these things are phenomenal. Custom made, custom painted, you name it, it's done. These things are awesome. This isn't something you're just gonna buy off the shelves at your local Walmart or normal tackle shop. These things are amazingly custom made lipless crankbaits and A-rigs. On top of that, here in the near future, we will be seeing jointed swim baits also made by Michael Lopez, which is TB Nation, Tiny Boat Nations on YouTube, and Jarmouth underscore addict underscore fishing on Instagram. I will be leaving the links down below in the description, so make sure you hit them up. Go check out his Instagram. You guys will definitely be seeing all the custom made lipless cranks and a rigs and also the new in works jointed swim bait so make sure you guys click down below as stated first and foremost we're going to jump into the top one you're looking at an eight ounce lipless crank with one odd hooks you guys can see they are feathered very amazing detail work you guys can see here in the gill section on the gill plate they do have a third dimensional look it is not just a flat bait also on the fin you guys can see it is also a third dimensional look to it where it does stick out which gives it the realisticness we are looking at a black top with the grayish blended in with the white amazing detail work on the facial expressions on this lipless crank as you guys can see very very detailed work you have a two tie-in sectional area on the top of the lipless crank which will give you a different diameter when you are fishing it so it will pretty much pull up on the lipless when you're tied down like so on the top hook it will give you an uplift or if you tie it on the center, then you're basically pulling up the lipless crank and it's pretty much flush as you guys can see. On the bottom here, there is another section. What you can add on is all depends on what you like. You can add another hook. You can add a spinner on there, a spinner leaf to grab more attention from those fish who are deep down under. The hardware is phenomenal. Look at this hardware, you guys. Very solid hardware very solid and sticky hooks and I love how he did the hooks with the feathering jumping into the trout pattern as you guys can see it is a little less detailed with the third dimensional look but it gives it more of a slimmer more finer detail to it you also have the top tie-ons which we basically went over and what I meant by the third dimensional is this is what you consider the flat bait but it is a little bit more slimmer as you guys can see compared to the 3d detail now in my option the way i would fish these is in a deep lake i don't think i'm going to throw these in the river very much for the fact that our river is very shallow so we will definitely be using these in the lake they are weighing in this the trout one's weighing in at seven ounces and the silver is eight ounces uh once again you have the solid hardware on there with the split rings I, I'm wanting to say these hooks are a little bit smaller than a one knot. I'm not 100% sure on that. They do look a little bit smaller than a one knot uh, on these hooks. And then I believe these hooks are the actual one knot. On the trout pattern, you see it is actually flush. There is not another tie on where you can add on another accessory where you cannot add on another hook. Once again, the facial detail work, uh, you can see. There's a lot of detailing in it. The coloration is very popping and very phenomenal. And those eyes, I'm telling you, I really like the style of these eyes. Jumping into the amazing A-Rig. This is a five-point A-Rig with one in the center. So basically four on the sides, one in the center. One thing that's really cool about this, let me push these off to the side so you can get a better visual. One thing I really like is how he actually made the spinners stay in pretty much what I, it's about an inch or so maybe less but the spinners stay within that area they do not move uh, I'm not sure if he used some kind of compound or an epoxy uh, but you can see they will not slide there's a, I'm wanting to say it's epoxy there's an epoxy here and an epoxy here but it feels more thicker than an epoxy so I don't think it's going to wear and tear eventually 
it feels more of maybe a JB weld. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, you can see the detail work on the front of the A-Rig. Very nice detail work. Very popping with the glitter added into the paint. On the ends of the A-Rig, you can see we have the tie-ons and then solid hardware on the center one with a split ring. So that will get the bait in the middle a little bit further out than it would uh, on the sides we will definitely get out there and fish with these you guys so make sure you stay tuned for that footage i'm going to be dropping that footage in a separate video i'm waiting for a more nicer day and i can't push off this review any longer for the fact that these things are so pretty i want to get this review out there and that way you guys can check them out make sure if you want one Go down to his Instagram, hit him up on Instagram, and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to get a smoking deal. I do not have a solid price point on any of this yet, but as I stated, if you hit him up on Instagram, you will definitely pretty much get your hands on one. So make sure you hit him up if you are interested, and as I stated, I will be leaving the links down below in the description. Let's go over them one more time. Look at the detail work on the 3D. I really like that a lot. I love the detail work he has put in. Uh, I got to tell you guys, customizing your own swim baits or making your own swim baits is not easy. It is a lot of work, and these things look phenomenal. The A-Rig, I'm very excited for when the A-Rig fishing picks up or even the boils. These things are going to be catching some massive fish. So, yeah, buddy, I am up and out. Much love and respects to you guys. Jarmouth Addicts Fishing. Thank you so much for the opportunity to do a review on these. And also, everyone, make sure you go down to the Instagram and check them out. Also, check out his YouTube. I will be leaving that link down below in the description. And what his YouTube is pretty much based off is small aluminum boats or pretty much any type of bass boat. He does a lot of customization to boats. So if you are in the market to get some upgrades on your bass boats make sure you check out his youtube channel and you guys will be blown away by the detail work he does to bass boats he sets up live wells he can do just about anything you can imagine to bass boats anything from doing decks skiffs sipe uh, panel mods you name it he can get it done so make sure you guys click on the links down below and i'm mr flip and i'm up and out peace yeah.